Now let us discuss about inference theory or theory of inference valid conclusion using the truth tables. So here we have two approaches uh, that is with the help of the truth table as well as without truth table that is with the help of uh, implication laws as well as equivalence laws. In this video we are going to discuss about uh, inference theory using truth tables. If the conclusion is derived from the given set of premises then the then it is known as valid conclusion otherwise invalid conclusion. So here the point is a set of premises will be given as well as a conclusion will be given. If we derive a conclusion from the given set of premises then we can say that it is a valid conclusion otherwise it is invalid conclusion. Here we have three examples. So let us solve these three examples with the help of the truth table. So here H1, H2 are nothing but premises whereas this is nothing but conclusion. Let us solve the first example. Uh, H1 P implies Q that is premise 1. H2 P so this is second premise and the conclusion is Q. Here we have two variables. So totally we will have four combinations true 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 false, false true and false false and here what is premise 1? Premise 1 is P implies Q. So premise 1, so what is premise 1? P implies Q. So what is P implies Q? It returns false when P is true and Q is false otherwise it returns true. So true false means false whereas in remaining three cases the result is true. Next what is second premise? Second premise is nothing but p value only. Let us write that value one more time or even if we consider this also there is no problem. There is no need to write one more time. Why? Because here this p is nothing but premise whereas this c is nothing but conclusion. We have in adjacent uh, columns only. Now we have to observe the premises row. If premise 1 p implies q e is true as well as premise 2 p is true then if the conclusion is also true then we can say that it is a valid conclusion. So let us observe p implies q and p rho if both are true. So if you see here p implies q is true, p is true. If we observe this row, so first two premise is true as well as what is the second premise? Second premise is p and this q is nothing but conclusion. So first two premise p implies q is true as well as second premise P is true as well as the conclusion is also true. So we can say that the given set of premises are producing the valid conclusion. Let us observe another row here. Here P is true whereas P implies Q is false. Here false true, here false true. So we can say that it is a valid conclusion. Let us assume that we have one more row where P implies Q is true as well as P is true. If we observe the last one. Here uh, let us assume that P implies Q is true as well as P is true. But what about conclusion here? Here the conclusion is false. So now we can say that it is the given set of premises are producing the invalid conclusion. Why? Because premise 1, premise 2 are true but Q value is false. Okay. But here there is no problem. Why? Because here uh, premise 1 is true uh, whereas second premise is false. So we should not consider this row. So we need to focus only on the premises which producing the true value. So here these premises are producing the truth value as well as conclusion is also pro producing true, true value. So we can say that it is valid conclusion. Now let us see the second example. What is second example? H1 is negation Q, H2 is P implies Q whereas conclusion is negation P. So here we have two, pre two variables. So totally we will have four combinations. So true true, true false, false true, false false. So what is premise 1? Premise 1 is negation Q. So premise 1 is negation Q. So let us calculate negation Q. So true means false, false means true, true means false, false means true. Next premise 2. What is premise 2? P implies Q. So what is P implies Q? 
true false means false otherwise the result is true next what is the conclusion negation p is the conclusion negation p is the conclusion so true true false false means false false true true now we have to observe premise 1 and premise 2 row if both are true then we need to check the conclusion so false true true false false true here we have true true so first to premise as well as second premise both are producing the true value as well as the conclusion is also producing two true value so we can say that the given set of premises are producing the valid conclusion okay now let us see the last example so what is the last example so here also we have two premises as well as a conclusion so let us construct the truth table so here also we have two uh, two variables so pq so totally we will have four combinations true 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 false false true false false what is premise one what is premise one negation p so what is negation p false false true true next second premise is p implies q what is p implies q true false means false otherwise the result is true next we need to compute conclusion what is conclusion negation of p and q so we know about p and q p and q returns true when p value is true q value is true otherwise the result is false so p and q means true false 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 so various negation of p and q means false true 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 so we need to observe negation p as well as p implies q premises so let us observe these two so here we have true true first premise and second premise truth value is true as well as the conclusion is also true so if you observe the last row also so first premise second premise truth value is true as well as conclusion is also true so we can say that the given set of premises are producing the valid conclusion.